Jay Bateman's defense is often called positionless because of how linebackers and secondary players frequently exchange responsibilities, confuse the offense. But one position that will be absolutely critical to his defense's success at North Carolina is the defensive tackle position. We'll take a look at a play here to illustrate why. Now, I want you to pay close attention to 91 and 77 here. Now, Bateman often asks his bigs to two-gap to be responsible for more than one gap. That's not actually the case on this play. We'll look at, at some others on that later in this series. But here, they're responsible for one. This is what you've got in this particular, uh, in this particular front, where you've got responsible for the B gap, responsible for the front side A gap against any sort of zone run here, and then B gap as well, and then he's got your C gap out here. So, and this backer is is also in this in this uh, backside A gap. Now, these two can interchange depending, but generally speaking, what they're going to want to do is is if even if he is two gapping, he's going to be responsible to attack the strong shoulder, the shoulder to the side that, uh, uh, that the offensive line, uh, offensive lineman is stepping, attack that and try to cause uh, a, a, a pile up here. What he can't allow is to get himself turned. And what we're going to see here is how much space can be created. And these two tackles were really good for for Army this year. This just happens to be a play where they got they got beat, but right away. Let's take a look at what we've got. He's getting into that front side. 77's getting into the front side of the center here, but he needs to press this a little bit more. The center is able to turn him and get his hips on the other side. Now he's, he's beat. Now he's working back to that backside A, which at that point the backer can actually attack the front side potentially, and that's what happens here. They interchange because he gets turned. But the other problem is on the backside here. The responsibility of this backside, and really he's a defensive end in the scheme most of the time, but he's, he's playing a tackle position really. I mean, he's the big end. His job, and he's a little bit late here, his job is to make sure that he matches the step and that he stays in this gap. What he can't allow is for himself to get cut on the backside because as soon as he hits the ground here and he gets cut, look at this seam that opens up because he's got to be responsible for the quarterback. The seam here is really big because the backside defensive lineman gets cut and then he's able to find that front side window and it just so happens that the backside opens up big, and you end up with a big a big play. Now, it gets called back because of this hold right here on the linebacker. The backer does such a good job pressing the line of scrimmage that it calls this back. But you can see that essentially this, this works schematically. This is great to close down the space against this run, con run concept as long as you don't get cut here. And if this holds up just a little bit better, I mean, he pushes him into the backfield decently, but if he holds up just a tiny bit better more on the front side, then this ends up being a loss instead of busting up the field. This is going to be where Carolina is going to have to find a couple guys on the interior that are able to execute these assignments without allowing any sort of space and making sure that the other thing here, one last thing, not only is he supposed to take this gap, his responsibility is to make sure that you don't get a free release from the from the guard to the to the linebacker to begin with. You want to make sure that that you get your hands on him if at all possible. That's the other thing. So if those defensive linemen are able to protect the backers and they're able to close down some space, the defense can be successful. If they're getting if they're winding up on the ground like that, well, holds aren't always going to save you and sometimes, you know, you're going to get running backs running through the secondary even if the scheme is just right.